Oh, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. Oh, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. All right, one more for the Scorpio gang. Let's go. You hear me? Let's go. That's for you. One more for the Scorpio gang. Let's go. Okay. Okay. As you can see, the most eyes I look. Take this. So we finna see what that's about. All right, we gonna see what's good. We gonna see what's going on with Scorpio. Clearly, you have hidden messages. So, do we wanna get that now? We wanna get that later. You wanna get that now? We get that later. We get that now? We get that later. Get that now, get that later. Ah. I'm gonna get it later. All right, influence in the bottom of the read right now is oh, you close out a cycle. Shout out to you. Okay, okay. All right, so you close the cycle successfully. You're moving forward, Scorpio, and I'm proud of you. So what goes on now? Okay, okay. You don't see something. I don't see something. We just don't see something. I, like what's going on with this? This Mercury retrograde got all the X's just like, I need to come back around. I need to come back around. Let's go. Boom. Okay, so somebody wants forgiveness. Okay, you don't see this. You're just chilling comfortably on your throne. Your boundaries are firm. And looks like your masculine may be going through an awakening. Due to his sneaky, cunning behavior. And attempting to leave some things hidden from you. Ooh, he learning. He learning today. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it looks like somebody's doing some spying. And you're completely unaware of this. You're just minding your business. Hidden, secluded. All right, somebody's heartbroken. All right, somebody's definitely heartbroken, but they're still spying. All right. We have the wheel. I'm sorry, the world. And the Ten of Pentacles. So yes, yeah, like they're stuck. Their head's stuck in the clouds. They're daydreaming. They're fantasizing. All right. They have deep emotions that they need to express or release. Otherwise, it's going to like create some sort of like spell in there or something. You know what I mean? So you got to be careful with that energy. You don't want to just like shoot that thing somewhere. Be careful. Okay. Page of Cups. They're trying to be friendly, and you're just like. They're trying to be playful, and you're just like. They're trying to smile and laugh with you, and you're just like. <laughs> Like, what do you want? Why are you here? <laughs> okay. Okay. You're just hitting them with a stiff face. Yeah, you released this situation. You realize that this was actually more of a problem than it was a blessing. So, you know, you went through your little tower moment and you cleaned yourself up picked yourself up by your bootstraps and you moved forward you release i'm sorry for one you acknowledged what the situation was for one they, they were rather immature they're childish and just a problem for you you've seen him from another perspective okay and you let it go and now the wheel of fortune is spinning and somebody's looking rather uh vibrant not vibrant abundant Successful, confident, comfortable, lavish, lavish. That was the word I wanted, lavish. Very lavish. Things are going to get very lavish. Let's see what this wor Wheel of Fortune is all about. I'll keep wanting to say the World of Fortune. I don't know why. Okay, so we got a Four of Cups. All right, is this a missed opportunity? Are we rejecting something? Okay. Mmm. So it looks like if, when you reject, this energy may be coming back around that you released. And when you reject them, working with this energy, you do it successfully. Right? Right? Is that what that is? 
or let's clarify let's clarify hermit 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 I'm gonna take those. Notice that's a temperance angel. Okay, so this energy sees you as their two of cups, they're happily ever after. All right. Um, only thing is with the research and intel that you've gained, this is how I picked it up. You released this. This was very painful for you. This hit you by surprise. And honestly, I want to say it's not what you thought it was. It's not the blessing you thought it would be. Honestly, they turned this emperor turned out to be a page. And I believe that's because you were an empress and you pulled the page to your level. As you can see, there's levels to this. And the page is upset. They're in their feelings. Their feelings are hurt with the final verdict. Okay, but at the end of the day, nobody can ride on anybody's coattails. All right, that's not cool. Okay. All right, so you're moving forward victorious. You're looking good. You're feeling even better. Okay, nobody can stop the show. Let's keep going. I think the most I might be saying, you just need to forgive the situation for what it is. Because a lot of our soulmates, we're just here to learn lessons with them. Life, this world thing, this life thing, this matrix simulator. This is all about lessons. But we get mixed up in everything in between. But this is all about learning and life and all that fun stuff. So let's just keep it simple. All right, stick to the lessons. This is a lesson. Let's forgive them. Move forward so we got no karma, no dharma. Because if we don't, I'm sure we got to learn this thing all over again. And I'm not beat, okay? Boom, what's that? Collaboration. Three of pentacles coming together, working together. Okay. They still want to reconcile. They really want to reconcile. Okay. Okay, so we have the emperor, the king of pentacles, the moon... And the seven of wands. So he wants to fight for this, but he hasn't disclosed this to you. He wants to fight for this as well, the opposing energy. And honestly, I think with them stepping up to seeing how severe, how serious the situation is, they're forced to take accountability. Not saying anybody can just hop into that emperor energy, but they they know when and where is appropriate to act. And it looks like they're cleaning up their act because they realize she's gone. What's that? Gone in sync? Or Justin Timberlake? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Was there anything else? Five of Wands. Queen of Cups. So they're being very strategic. Alright? And it's conflicting. It's gonna be conflicting because you're a sweetheart. You're a Queen of Cups. Alright? You just want the best for and from everybody. Okay. Mm. I landed in reverse. Or I picked it up in reverse. Mm. So be careful. Maybe they, they're, they're, they're being strategic so you can overgive to the situation. Make you emotionally un unbalanced. Or maybe they're conflicted and they're emotionally unstable and unbalanced. And they're still being strategic and messy. Mm. I don't know. But. Scorpio, Scorpio, you've got this. All right, Scorpio is just like Aries. All right, you guys are the only other sign who doesn't need anybody else to, to start something, to finish something, to get things moving on their own. Like, it's always you by yourself. And Aries, we're the only two signs who can do that. So, with that being said, whatever happens, you've got this. All right, keep your head focused. Keep your head in the game. Don't let your heart get involved with this mind over matter right now. Mind over everything right now. Logical, clear decisions. Okay. Once the respect respect is established, once the foundation is established, then you can get into that friendly, cute stuff. But right now, accountability needs to be taken 
And, uh, yeah. But you've got this, Scorpio. I believe in you. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. We're going to leave that right there. I love you all. Mucho mas. Let me go start editing these videos. Have some coffee or something. Watch some cartoons. I don't know. But I love you all. Mucho mas. Love and light, guys.